Hi guys. Uh, so today I'm going to explain about the Percona extra backup. Uh, so this topic is quite big one. So oh, I, I I am planning to release uh, more videos uh, related to this topic. Uh, so this is a part one video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain what is the Percona extra backup and how it is happening, and what are the different places available and uh, uh, I am also going to show the demo section with the full backup and how to restore the full backup. Okay. Uh, so first thing, what is a Percona Extra Backup? Uh, Percona Extra Backup is the open source tool uh, for the backups uh, from the Percona team. Okay. You can use this tool to perform the backups, backups on the MySQL server and Percona server, and even you can use it on the MariaDB servers as well. Okay, uh, you can perform the backups on the InnoDB tables and uh, the tool will also take the backup of the other engines tables as well. Okay, and but there is some limitation. Uh, so going forward, I will explain uh, how it is working for the InnoDB tables and how it is working for the other engine, other engine tables. Okay, uh, using the tool, you can perform the variety of back, uh, backups like you can perform the compressed backups. You can you perform the streaming backups. You can perform the partial backups, encryption backups, and you can also do the uh, incremental backups. Okay. So, <clears throat> Percona Extra Backup is a hard backup tool. Uh, so it will perform the hard backup. Uh, so, what is hard backup means? Uh, you can do the backups during the uh, runtime. Uh, for example, your users uh, are connecting to the databases and they are doing some operation. And at the same time, you can also perform the backup. So that's called the hard backup. And the Percona Extra Backup performs the physical backups. Okay, uh, So there, are, there is a different backups like physical backup and logical backup. Uh, for example, the logical backup, the best example is the MySQL dump. Uh, when you perform the backup using the MySQL dump, if you see, if you view the output file, you will you can see the logical context like SQL statements, create table statements, um, insert statements. You, you will see. So that that is a logical data. Uh, so the physical backup means uh, your backup directory will contain the physical files, physical binary files. <laughs> okay. Uh, so using the Percona extra backup, you can perform the uh, physical backup. Okay, um, so during the uh, Percona backup, I mean the full backup and the restoration, there are three different phases. So the first one is the backup. During the backup, how the backup is happening? The question is the there are two major uh, operations happening during the backup. Once you give the press the enter uh, for the full backup command, uh, the background thread, background threads will copy the data files from the MySQL data directory to your target directory. That is the first thing. And uh, another thread will watch the uh, redo logs. I mean, the transaction logs. So it's called a redo logs. And if any changes happening in the redo logs, those changes will be written in the extra backup underscore log file, which is stored in the uh, backup directory. Okay. So these are the two major things happening uh, during the backup. And once your backup is completed, your backup is not consistent. Uh, it is it is inconsist inconsistent state. Okay, uh, so you need to make it uh, consistent before restoring before restoring it. Okay, uh, so as I told already, your extra backup log file underscore log file will contains the changes. So during once you prepare during the preparation, what uh, there are two major things happen. Okay, one is the apply, and the another one is the undo. So as I told already, your extra backup underscore log file have the modifications. So during the preparation phase, uh, so the committed transaction from the log and those will those say committed transaction will be written in the uh, data phase. Okay, and if uh, what if if the trend if the transaction is not committed, those transaction will be rolled back. Uh, the these are the two major things happening during your preparation phase. Okay, so once you prepared, uh, your backup is consistent. Now you can restore using the copy back or move back. Um, uh, I will I will show you in the demo. Okay, and these are the minimum privileges you needed uh, to perform the backup. Uh, these are the minimum privileges you should need. It. Okay, now let's go to the uh, demo section. I already uh, installed one MySQL and I am having the Percona server. 
8.0.26. Now, and I am also installed the Pepon extra backup already. Uh, so this is the Perpona extra backup package. Uh, so to install the Perpona extra backup, you need to install the Perpona repository first, then you can install the, you can find the Perpona extra backup and you can install it. Okay. Uh, so to install the Perpona repository, you can uh, just type the, the Google Perpona repository, then you can click the link, uh, first link. And uh, <clears throat> there you can find the command to install the uh, per corner up. Okay, uh, let me show you this loading. Um, yeah, 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 you can use this command to install the per corner up. Okay, once you install the per corner up, you can uh, find your find the extra backup package and you can install it using them. Okay, so I already installed. So once you install, you can also find the tool extra backup. Okay, I'm just checking the version. Extra backup version is eight dot zero dot six. Okay, now <clears throat> uh, the second thing is I am going to create the backup user uh, with these privileges. Mm, let me log in. Create user backup localhost identified by backup battery tool yeah so grant the, those privileges or to backup but local host okay okay now i'm just make a confirming my login Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I have created the user uh, with the priv needed privileges and I also verified the login. It is okay. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing is I'm going to, uh, the first thing I'm going to take the full backup. I'm just checking what are the schemas available. Okay. So these are the schemas. Uh, so four default schemas, information schema, my score. Performance schema says, and additionally, I have created one schema, uh, Hercules one. Okay, uh, so these are schemas available. So now uh, I'm going to take the full backup. So I'm just defining the my backup directory. Make the I am taking under the temp backup fib first two zero. 22. Okay, I'm just creating on directory. Now, uh, let me execute the command. Extra backup, backup, because I'm going to take the backup. So I need to mention this flag, iPhone, iPhone backup. Then I am giving the user credentials. User is the backup. And my password is backup at 321. And my target directory is this is my um target directory. okay uh so i just want to tell you i am just using the uh, uh very uh needed options only here okay uh, there are uh, many other options available uh you can make your backup uh very efficiently you can perform the backups in your production environment there are a lot of options available uh so for this demo section i am just uh, executing the command with the minimum options, uh, what are needed to perform the full backup? Okay, um, so going forward in the demo, in the section, in the coming videos, I will explain the how to optimize your backup comments. Uh, I will, I will uh, tell you in the further videos. Okay, so I would tell you don't try this in your production because you need to uh, tune your command. Uh, I mean, there uh, for the logging perspective, there are many options available. So use the options, uh, what is suitable for your production. Okay, this is the, in this command, I have provided only the minimum uh, options. Okay, uh, let me perform the uh, command. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So at the end of the operation, you will see this like this completed. Okay, okay. Now I am just going to the folder, backup folder. Yeah. Uh, so the my backup is completed. You can see the databases that have plus one from schema my sequences, and additionally you can see the some backup related files as well. And uh, each file has the purpose. If you see the extra backup bin log info, it will record the bin log uh, file and portion at the end of the backup. And the extra backup log file, as I told already, that is a binary file. Uh, you cannot view it. Uh, it will it will log the records changes from the transaction logs. And <clears throat> extra backup underscore checkpoints. Uh, it will record your LSN details mostly which type of backup, full backup, and uh, which from which from which lesson uh, you are taking the backup, and two lesson, and what is the last lesson. Lesson means it is the log sequence number, uh, <clears throat> and the first lesson. Okay, so the, it, the, this files mostly have the uh, your lesson details. Okay, and extra backup underscore info. This file have most of uh, most details like what is the UID and tool name and what is the command used. You can see the password is hidden here. Yeah. And what is the version, MySQL version, and what is the backup version, start time, end time, and bin log file question, lesson details. Uh, and here also you can see which back, kind of backup performed, partial or incremental or compressed or encrypted backup, what kind of backup performed. You can see all, this, all those details um, using the file extra backup underscore info. Okay, uh, now I perform the <clears throat> backup. As I told already, this backup, once the backup is completed, the backup is inconsistent. Uh, so I need to make it consistent. So before that, I am just going to shut down the uh, uh, MySQL service and going to remove the current data directly. Okay. I'm just stopping the MySQL. Um, yeah, it is in like you know, so my data directory is where live my sequel. Yeah, I'm just removing everything or my friend Norris. Okay, uh, so currently I don't have anything uh, under the where live my sequel. Okay, only I have the backup. Okay, now this next thing is I'm going to uh, restore the backup. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to, the first thing, I'm going to prepare the backup. Uh, as I told already, uh, during the preparation phase, there are two major things happening. One is supply and undo. What are the commit, what are the transactions committed in the uh, log file? Those transactions will be applied in the data files. What are the transactions are not committed and only it has the modification. Those transactions will be rolled back. Okay, these are the two things that are going to happen. Uh, extra backup, prepare, target, directory, temp, yeah. Um, so here also, oh, as I told already, uh, I'm using the very basic level options only. Uh, you can tune this command as well using some other options like use memory, <coughs> Uh, there are a few options you can use it for the uh, tune this better. Okay. I just preparing. Yeah. So actually, one thing I forgot to tell. So when you uh, preparing your backup, uh, it will do the crash recovery. Okay. Uh, it will perform the crash recovery. Uh, and it will do the uh, commit and roadblock things. And end of your preparation phase, you will see the completed OK. OK, once you see this, OK, uh, now your backup is consistent. Yeah. Uh, so once you once your preparation phase is completed, those uh, IB log. The transaction logs will be created. The three logs, IB log file one and IB uh, log file zero. If you see that the backup directly, you cannot find those files. Okay, 
after the preparation completed then only you, uh, it will create the uh, read logs and the you know db temporary file that ib temp one those those things those files will be created after the uh, backup preparation okay now uh, my i have the consistent backup now my backup is prepared now i need to restore okay uh, to <clears throat> restore it i am going to use the move back there are two options one is the move back and the copy back okay if you use the hyphen hyphen copy hyphen back option it will copy your backup directory to mysql data directory if you use the move back it will move the backups from backup directory to the mysql data directory okay uh, based on your requirement you can use the options uh, i am using the move back uh, before that i just want the backup size here it is 186 mb okay and i'm now i'm going to perform the move back move back target directory temp yeah um yeah uh <coughs> Once I uh, once a command is the it is moved. Once a uh, once a command is completed, you can see the completed OK again, okay? and uh, you can read the logs uh, for the more details. For example, uh, here the uh, moving uh, the helpless one DB op file to varlib mysql helpless one DB op. So, okay, you can read the similarly. You can read uh, uh, for all the files. They are moving from your backup location to the varlib mysql. Uh, I, I mean that you were, that is your data directory location. Okay, and the end of the command you will see this completed. Okay, and now if you check the uh, space, I mean the size of your backup directory, it is 8.1 mp. Let me go to the varlib mysql. That is a mysql directory. We remove the data before, but after this move back, if you see that you can find the files. Okay, those backup files are uh, moved to your backup directory. You can uh, sorry your data directory. You can check the size here. It is 178 MP. Okay. Uh, now uh, we done the uh, move, and you can uh, now we can start the MySQL. But before that, just check your ownership of the files, backup files. Uh, it is root because I performed all the activities using the root user. Uh, so before starting the MySQL, I need to uh, change the ownership to MySQL from root. Let me change it. Where lip my okay. I updated the ownership now. If I list, uh, now I can see all the ownership is updated to MySQL. Now I can start the MySQL. Let me start it. I'm starting the MySQL, yeah. MySQL service is started. You can check it is active, active and running. Let me log in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so all those databases this available. Okay. So this is the way <clears throat> you can use the extra backup uh, uh, to restore uh, to take the full backup and uh, restore purpose. And there are many other many many other purposes uh, with the extra backup uh, related to your replication. Uh, there are there are many many purposes uh, using the extra backup okay uh, later uh, in the coming videos i will explain how to do the things uh, with that okay going going forward and again uh, uh, there are many options you can play uh, with the extra backup for example you can see the options uh, yeah see there are a lot of options you have uh, to tune your command uh, based on your production environment uh, there are a lot of options uh, you can use it. Uh, so uh, here in the in this demo, I just used only the basic level options. Uh, <clears throat> so when you are using in your production environment, just use the other options as well. Uh, what are the uh, options suitable for your production workload? Just just use it. And going forward, I will also explain the uh, things with the different scenarios. Okay. Uh, so hopefully this video is helpful to you to understand how the what is extra backup and how it is uh, performing. And the one thing I forgot uh, that Perpona extra it, it it is the less locking. Okay, very very less locking uh, Perpona extra backup. So you don't need to worry about the locking. 
okay uh, there is also some options related to this going for i will explain so hopefully <clears throat> this video is helpful to you um uh, who is learning the uh, extra backup in the being available uh, so it this video might be helpful to how how it is working and uh, uh, or how what are the different backups that just overview about your extra backup so going forward you can expect more of more videos from related to this uh topic uh so if you like this video or oh, just you give, give me your feedback in the comment section or just directly reach me and uh, to provide your feedback and if you if you have any questions or concerns or, or any doubts uh just uh let me know in the comment section or just directly reach me okay uh if your friends are someone who is learning these things and who needed this video just share with them okay guys thank you